Hey, this is Jack. So our first stop on the social distancing wine tour was at Granville Winery. Uh, we visited winemaker Jackson Holstein uh, in his barrel room at the top of the Dundee Hills. And we selected the 2018 Granville Farmhouse Cuvée Pinot Noir. All right, we're standing here with Jackson Holstein. Uh, he is the winemaker for Granville. Um, and we're up in the one of the highest spots in the Dundee Hills up here. Uh, his dad, Alan Holstein, planted the vineyard outside and he took over the fruit in 2014, I believe it was, and uh, started up this lovely label. Um, we're gonna be put, uh, packing the 2018 farmhouse cuvee in your box this is a uh, uh, a blend of cuvee of this vineyard along with a couple others and uh yeah it should be a, a nice little addition to your your box jackson why don't you talk a little bit about uh how granville got started and what your what your focus is for it yeah um how did it get started uh I was a dumb kid who thought um, I could make some wine, and uh, it kind of just snowballed on us. Um, I was uh, I was born and raised on a vineyard. My father was in um, in the industry, and so uh, slowly but surely, osmosis takes place and um, kind of absorbed the trade um, from a viticultural standpoint for my father. But then winemaking from multiple influences here in the valley, really good winemakers, and had the chance to be around. Um, my wife and I started this uh, in 2014. We were making barrels out of a cellar down the road and um, I uh, you know we kind of started this as to like you know this is supposedly something you know my family had been doing for you know this is something we've been doing for decades and it's like I should I should I should get familiar you know and, and um, one thing led to another and 2018 we built our own spot um, and uh, my wife worked in restaurants I worked in vineyards as we built this little brand and um, it's uh, you know came something from really no intention to a whole lot of intention of trying to find wines that express um, places and families and um, the Lamp Valley, which is our home and um, a place that we love dearly. And, um, so yeah, great. And then as far as uh, this bottling in particular, um, what would you describe kind of your intention with it? What are you looking for when you're pulling barrels for, for this yeah, whole um, approachability. Um, it's always the farmhouse is a reflection of our home. Um, it started off when we started first bottling this wine. It was, uh, you know, a couple hundred cases just from the Dundee Hills. In 2018, we expanded that to Yola Ambi Hills. So it's a selection from two ABAs here in the Lion Valley, two of the finest ABAs in my opinion. Um, and, uh, you know, when we're selecting barrels for this particular cuvee, it's always about approachability and wine that can be paired with food. These wines are served uh, most often dinner tables are there. You can sell it for sure, but um, it's oftentimes drank fairly early and delicious. It's approachable and we want it to be a wine that people can sit down and say, wow, we really got a craft handmade Pinot Noir from the Land Valley at an entry level price mm -hmm. and that can blow their, blow their socks off. So great. Um, yeah. And what are some of the, your favorite pairings that you found this goes with? You can go, um, you can go all over the board. I would say um, if you have a salmon, salmon on the grill, really simple. Um, let's see, what else? Um, anything mushroom related. Mm -hmm. um, I love with early drinking Pinot Noir. Um, Goes well with the real earthy kind of. Yeah, stuff. totally. Jeez, um, uh, what else? What did we have the other night? Um, uh, I. I think we had tacos with it the other day. Holy shit, that's <laughs> it works. delicious. <laughs> um, home, handmade, homemade pizza. Um, I mean, you can dress it up or dress it down. So, yeah, um, sure. That's the beautiful thing about that one. It's very uh, versatile yeah, in that way. Sure. Great. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Yeah, yeah. likewise. Cheers.